Hello everybody and welcome back to the episode of the new safe hour. We are jumping in once again and this time around I'm gonna go in as... I don't know. The poopy boy maybe? The poopy boy? Um, We could do a tainted lost run. It's been a little bit of time since we did a good old tainted lost run. You know how I how I love them, sir. I have currently, by the way, have removed the starting trinkets mod. Uh, one, because there was a few characters that were just iffy, and I realize you can turn them off per character, but also, it seems to be causing a few errors in the console for me. Um, so that and also Stats Plus are two mods that I've currently disabled, because they seem to be causing a lot of the lag we were seeing the last few episodes, at least seemingly so. Uh, either way, we'll carry on and have a good time nonetheless. Uh, as for the question of the day... What is your favorite flavor of sweet? Like, if you were going to have, like, ice cream or, like, a jelly or something, what's what's your go-to flavor and why? There needs to be a very, very good reason. If there's no reason, it doesn't count. No, I'm joking. Whatever your favorite flavor would be interesting to know. For me, I've always sort of gone towards strawberry. Um, I, I, I quite like anything strawberry-based. Now, we just got this book here, um, which... I've always found to be a bit iffy. It, it can be quite good, but the the little gremlins, nightmare people that it produces are very, very weak. They don't stick around for long, so it's hard to build up any semblance of an army. Um, but it's it's kind of an average book to have because they do have homing, they do fire rel relatively quickly, and they do auto aim. So there is a lot, like a lot of the parts of them that like can be quite good. It's just not always going to be plausible to like build that army like you might want to with them. Uh, this is kind of an interesting room here, just for potentially getting some money, so I will try and destroy a few of these, but unfortunately not. Just got to check in here for birthright, because uh, I can bomb a donation machine if birthright's in here. No birthright, but diplopia is certainly uh, something I cannot believe that red fire just hit me there. Oh, really? I'm one penny off? Okay. Um, should be able to get a penny in this room, right? Come on. I can't believe I got hit there. On my good old holy mantle. Not a single penny in that entire room. Just rude game. You steal my holy mantle. You steal my hopes and dreams. I'm dead. It's okay. It's fine. <laughs> we we roll it back. I can't believe that fire managed to shoot me at the last possible moment before I destroyed it. Excuse me, game. Could you just leave it be for a hot damn second? Wow. Wow. I don't know, what do you guys think of Tainted Lost episodes? Because I, I think they're more fun because there's a lot more risk involved. Like, it's not just an easy win, even if we get good stuff. But also, I can see it being a little bit f frustrating to, like, have these false starts and, like, have to watch, like, 15 minutes, 20 minutes of an episode only for it to then start a new run sort of thing. So I kind of get it from both sides. Be interesting to know what you guys actually think of these episodes, because I do like doing them, and of course, we do need to try and get the completion marks done at some point anyways. But I also don't want to force things on you guys that you're not enjoying too much so i, I do want to hear feedback on what your guys' stance are on the tainted lost runs personally playing them are one of my favorites even if there is some false starts and stuff i think tainted lost is just an absolutely amazing like amazingly fun character to play also forget me now on the first floor is very good we get a free item room and another boss room of a easy tier so do not mind that at all right Good. We've also got a chariot here, which we can potentially use for our boss, or if we get in a little bit of a uh, little bit of trouble, I'm open to either way. Okay, uh, we've got an XL floor here as well, actually. So this this, this forget me now is going to be very very good. I don't exactly know actually how the forget me now is going to work. You know, I'm not entirely sure how it interacts with an XL floor. If it'll put me onto floor two, or if it'll put me onto floor one, I don't particularly no. <laughs> Either way though, we'll get our items and we'll, we'll just kind of go from there. Right, take out these guys first. And you fellas. Ooh, ah. I was, I was like, ooh, hopeful of something interesting there. No, no, no. Never something interesting. You can't have that. But get me now into, what else we got here? The halo. Not bad, not bad. Okay, do not mind the halo. Do not mind the halo at all. Nice little bit of stat upgrades. Obviously, the health upgrade doesn't mean anything for us in this scenario, but don't think restock is really going to do as much good here. Let's go and try and do our bosses as safely as we can. Uh, we do have a good amount of bombs, so I am willing to 
bomb, bomb, bomb it up if I need to. Uh, also, let's just quickly take a look around for secret room, just considering we have the bombs. There you go. Beautiful stuff. Very, very good. Um, and then we said our shop wasn't very useful, didn't we? Right, so this, this boss we shouldn't need to um, use our chariot card for, so I'll try and stave off. I'll try and kill him first, just to avoid the uh, inevitable sprinting madness that he uh, befalls upon us. We'll see if we can. Okay, there you go. Cool. Yeah, then we don't need to use Chariot for the rest of this fight, but depending on the boss we've got up next, we might want to use Chariot, so we'll see. Might just make things a little bit easier. We get GMO Corn, which I will take after I do this boss in case I get any like, large stats down. And again, we don't really need to use uh, Chariot here. We can save it for another moment. We've got two pretty simple bosses here. Trimply quite easy. Good stuff. And we do get Smooth Stone, which is very, very nice. Um, we... Mm, this is kind of tricky. Uh, I should have taken GMO Corn first, because I sh then I could have taken Sulfur with the thingy mod. I guess I'll just take... Um... Do you know what? No, let's take nothing. Let let's try and get a thingy. What's it called? Right, let's grab this. Okay, nothing terrible there. Um, and we can fly into our cash room and then use our Forget Me Now in the cash room. Okay. Nice. Wasn't expecting a crawl space in here. Compound fraction on the less as well. Luckily we have flights, so we can skip most of this bullshit. Let's see if there's anything below. No, not, not by the looks of it. Right, lovely stuff, and then we pop this bad boy. Yeah, could have done that bit better, but oh well. It is what it is. We'll try and do a um, Angel and get our key pieces if we can. But I have already been into a devil deal, so it's not like super, super likely. I should have thought about that before heading in, but what's done is done. Eh, unfortunately not very good. The, we got the, the sharp clicker, sharp cursor once again. This item seems to be pretty darn common for us at the moment. We do indeed have a uh, golden chest there, but I want to see what we've got going on first. By the way, we did get basement one again, so having XL floor there was very, very good for us. Also, compound fracture, i got to say. Absolutely love compound fracture. Very, very, very good for us indeed. I, of course, want to see what the shop's got for us this time around as well. Range up is nice. Um, this is kind of tricky. I think I'm just going to take my um, my buddy in a box, you know. And leave that chest undiscovered. And I will open up this golden chest just in case there's something spicy in there. Nothing spicy, but we did get a bomb. And we'll quickly try and find second secret room with said bomb. Um, I'm not entirely sure where it is, to be honest. It might be here, but I'm not super confident. No. Um, can't be to the right there. Can't be to the left or right of there. Can't be there. This is a weird one. I don't. I don't genuinely don't know. I'll check here for second secret room, but I do not know where first secret room is at all. Why? Why did that enemy do that? That was horrible. <laughs> I lost my holy mantle to some BS. annoying. It's a really good run as well, this. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Right. Keep it moving on. Keep it moving on. Ugh. Very annoyed to lose my uh, holy mantle to that. I should have been more patient when walking in that room. I always do that. I walk in just guns blazing. It's not particularly a good idea. But we will get another holy mantle charge relatively soon. Do you know how I know that? Because I am op I can't remember the word for it now. I am all seeing. What's the word for that? Omniscient? No, that's that sounds very wrong. Um, I forget that there's a word specifically for like all knowing. In reference to, like gods and stuff. I can't remember what the hell it is now. 
It's gone from my brain. Right. Oh my lord, this run's got some spice. This run's got some spice and it's gonna go down the shitter. It's also got some heckin' lag, but... I'm not worried about that. <laughs> oh lord. Right. Holy card. Fuck you, game. Yeah. We've got the, the splitting splitting tears. All we need now is Cricket's body and we've got the full shebang. Just need a few more bits and pieces and this run is insane. I mean, it's already pretty insane as it is. Every time we shoot over a rock, it just decimates entire worlds. Right. Get away, Spidey boy. Yeah, it's not- nothing's surviving this ruckus. Extra key. Nothing survives my ruckus. More damage. Man, this run's got some some pretty eyes. It's pretty goddamn beautiful. I would take this this run out for the night. Little, little happy little sun there. But we know what happens when we have a very good run in the palm of our hands. Isaac giveth, and Isaac taketh away. What is so easily bestowed upon us can be so easily removed. Can, can the spider king die? Well, luckily for me, Holy Card is just around the corner. Never too far away from a Holy Card. Little fiend. Your own little bastard. <laughs> I've never read that before. I like that. Technically, this could drop a holy card. I've seen it drop cards before, so... I had to try. I got my money back anyway. It's literally exactly what I paid for it, so... No loss. No harm done. Okay, thank you, little buddies. Is this secret room here? No, it does not. Is this secret room here? Is this secret room here? There you go. Third time's the charm. And we got ourselves this. Um, it seems risky, but fun. This run's already potentially in the shitter, so... So yeah, transforms enemies into a stronger version of themselves, but um, halves their HP when it does it, so... Can create some stronger enemies, but... Makes them a lot easier to kill. I think is a half decent trade. It's not too bad, not too shabby. It's going to be happening all the goddamn time though. Just because the amount of splitting tears that are going on. That's a big old chest. Unfortunately, we do not have big old, uh, big old amount of keys. So, not going to be super easy to open that right now for us. <laughs> Oh, the lag is just... By the way, this lag is completely nothing to do with the console. As you can see, our console's looking pretty much fine. We've got one thing to do with Milkshake, and that's it, but that doesn't look too serious. Crack that open, dude. Our red chests have been abysmal so far. Ooh, that was more fire than I was expecting there, game. Well, there's the key you were looking for. Um, I will take this just because it might be good if we get an active item. And we'll go and open our mega chest and probably regret it because we'll die in that room. Hey, her, people. Hey, her. To be fair, we have a chariot card, so things do look really fishy. 
We do have a way out. It's more the, 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 the lag that's making things difficult. Right, so we got Proptosis, obviously great. Milkshake. Um, 1 to 1.5 times multiplier to all stats. Ooh, very nice. Ooh, very, very nice. That's that's a good item. <laughs> that's a, a real good item. Also, I think it makes our tears pink, which is pretty cute. Oh, dude, our shot speed went wild. Also, yeah, prop tursus in this bitch. Makes things more dangerous, but more fun. Oh, the lag, baby. The lag is, uh, pretty unbearable. H how did you get birthed? Some of the enemies that have been spawned here by my uh, by my item seem a little unfair. Like, what what on earth's going on back there? I don't even know what to think of these guys. Can we can we get them killed, please? There's tears that are just lingering in the middle of the room that seem to have been there years. There's just thousands of these guys that keep spawning. Chariot time. This seems like it's going to go on forever if I don't. Kill them with chariot. Cool. I think what was happening there also, it looks like we're not getting uh, our good old nice angel deals. So I'll just do this and take a lump of coal. It seems what was happening there is those enemies were spawning smaller enemies, which have been upgraded back into the enemies that were spawning said smaller enemies, and it was just like an infinite loop. Right. Come on, game. You know you want to give me that card before uh, before we perish a horrible death. You know you want to. Not just keys, please. Not just keys. We like them, but it's not what we need right now. Dude. Everything. Everything is troll bombs. It's all we ever get given. Everything is troll bombs. Cool. Got all that going. Secret room allows us to check out this. Got our crawl spaces back. Just you. I can't really do much with you, unfortunately. You take away precious HP, which I do not have. Right. Away we go. <laughs> this is an insane amount of destructive power right now that I am very much enjoying, but still mighty scary. Knowing that any one hit could come in and strike... When I really don't want it to. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, good old Sackhead. That's actually pretty good. Sackhead can give you cards, I think. Even with Proptosis, the damage is so good here. I mean, Lump of Coal, I think, is kind of slightly counteracting Proptosis a little bit. This is an unbelievably god tier run. <laughs> and yet the game will not will not give me the thing that I need to secure my victory.
Don't think I want either of those. Experimental treatment's a little bit risky. Yeah, it's it's too risky to take, I think. Just carry on going. Ugh. This is the floor where things usually go wrong. So, let's see. Little Horn is good, but I think potentially could be a little dangerous. I just gotta hope that one of these chests gives us what we need. Ooh, I'm liking these. I'm liking these. I mean, when you give me basically nothing, I'm not as big of a fan, but otherwise I'm liking them. The amount of fires we're throwing out is pretty beautiful. I will bomb some of these to try and get uh, a card. There it is, there it is. Right. Out. Back in. Oh, man. The risk factor of this run has just gone down by quite a bit. By quite a bit. Okay, I can be a little bit more okay with how things are going now. We are only going to be able to get one completion mark out of this, though. It's the only poopy bit of this run, but... One is better than nothing. Always. <gasps> I was not expecting an angel deal. Right, what does this do? Chain yourself to a random enemy, um... Chain yourself to a random enemy with an astral chain and freeze them. The chain deals heavy contact damage to enemies going too far away from the chain. Uh, enemy will break the chain. Chain enemies have a 33% chance to drop a soul heart. Uh, can chain bosses two for five seconds. Seems dangerous, but I'll give it a go. Yeah, okay, that doesn't seem too bad, okay. Like, it doesn't restrict our movement, so I'm going to say it's good. Right, open this up. That was only one penny to open that bad boy. We've not seen our item room yet. Our item rooms have been very, very good thus far, so I think we should go and find wherever that is. Also, our room rewards with chests and stuff have been good too. Could also find our shop too, that could be useful. Crack that open. Too much money. Don't even know what happened to that guy, but he is eviscerated. Good old secret room, just some potato batteries, don't think I need that. I don't stand up at the gaps with these guys, they'll fuck us over. Quickly bomb these. Gotta try and find cards wherever I can. And then here, of course, why wouldn't it be you? And then in here... That's pretty good. Pretty good. Mother Spine can be pretty useful. Right. Just gonna bomb through here as a shortcut. We did manage to get an Angel deal finally, which is surprising. We got one of our key pieces. It could happen. More damage. Gotta love that. Okay. Okay. I have confidence right now. I have confidence. Just as long as I don't let the confidence get the better of me, we'll be okay. Good, good. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah. Ice. 
Uh, the moment I saw this room, I was like, this is the recipe for damage right here. And what happens? Straight away, I take damage. So that confidence has now been reduced heavily. This floor is always really rough for me. I always have a really, really hard time with Necro and stuff. But we'll try our best to stay alive. It's just enemies that, like, do stuff on death. When you've got a, a build this powerful, sometimes you kind of slightly don't know your own strength and just kill everything before you get a chance to really assess. And that's kind of what happened there. I started shooting as I entered before I really had time to prepare for the shots that were about to be released. You could be pretty good. I think we should find our shop first, just in case. So there's depths too, yeah. We should find our shop first, just in case. Because that could be the ticket to survival. Boss trap room here. Pentagram will take. Most bosses are pretty much cakewalks for us. Good old free pentagram. God damn. There's a lot of rooms like this that are just ridiculously easy, but just a few rooms here and there which I really don't like. What's what's going on here? I really don't like this. Tank boys can get me killed, so let's not with tank boys. No card in here that we wanted. God damn it. Doesn't do much for us, sadly. Neither does that. God damn it. Okay. <sighs> right. Back, back to panic mode. Our safety did not last long. Wow, that was fast. <laughs> I got conjoined out of that, nice. We got our angel deal, fuck's sake, of course we get our angel deal. Dark path. Mustard seed, of course. Ah, uh, we got all the pieces and no holy card. This is sad. Nothing in here is going to save our life. Nothing's going to save our life, we just move on, but yeah, now we're onto the womb, things are really going to heat up quite a bit. Things are going to heat up quite a bit. There's so many on-death effect enemies on this floor. All it takes is me firing at the wrong time and I'm dead. So basically I have to walk into a room, assess the room, and then start shooting. Otherwise, it's not going to work. The charmed enemies are sh for sure going to confuse me as well. Like that guy then, I, he almost got me. I didn't even see that coming. Yeah, the charmed enemies for sure are going to be annoying. But luckily, they do, they do a good job of killing stuff for us though, so that's nice. I'm not really ready for what the pin's doing right now. Got away from it. Okay. A lot of rooms are just being immediately decimated. So that's no worries. Oh, that is not what I expected to happen there. I almost died on that. There's a token here. I need to just move that real quick. And get in here. Okay. Okay. 
Right, that token stays there in case we find a holy card. Basically, my thinking there is I can just duplicate my holy cards, but the chances are so low of us getting a holy card on this floor that it's not really that viable, but it's a chance. I cannot ignore it. Last D6. Pretty good. Oh, I'm sorry if I've gone a bit quiet here. This is uh, quite nerve-wracking at this point. Not really where I want it to be right about now, but... It is what it is. Watch for those feet. They'll still stomp even when he's dead for some reason. That's good for the extra fire rate. Cars don't do much for us. Right, continue on. You guys fire when you move, don't you? Yes, you do. Oh god, the lag doesn't help either. Some spikes there that I didn't see. Luckily, I only have to fire once in most rooms to clear the full thing, so... It's luckily not bothering me that much. Oh my god, the lag. Just so hard to like maneuver out the way of things when you can't really see what's going on. It's hard to get a good gauge on where all the moving parts are. Is that it? Yep, okay. Come on, holy card. We've only seen one so far. Where's the rest of y'all? Where y'all at? Thought these chests could contain them at some point. Oh, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I saw that come in. Basically, if you didn't see what happened there, I upgraded that enemy into an enemy that does a worse death effect than the enemy that I had beforehand. And it killed me. That is super depressing. That was such a good run. Oh, holy cards. Why can't you just be more obtainable? Also, yeah, I sh should have never taken that item that upgrades enemies. I knew it was going to be a problem. This room as well could have been my holy card room. I had 69 coins. Good old 69. Could have potentially got a holy card of that machine. I saw that that enemy die and I'm like, okay, this is a difficult thing to dodge. Try and maneuver. Just couldn't get out of the way in time. I was hoping the doors would open. I could just leave, but... Let's, let's, for, for brevity's sake, let's, um, rewind and see if we could have done that any better. Let's play out the run, shall we? Let's just see, would we have got a holy card from this room? There you go, look, holy card right there and then. And there's another one. Literally two holy cards back to back. Man. It's depressing. I'm going to keep playing this run, but I'm not going to get any completion marks. I, I feel like with this character of all characters, it'd be disingenuous. I don't mind other characters because that whatever. But this character's like an achievement to do these things. It's just very annoying that... I knew this was that that was the room to fix all our woes. Okay. Don't want to open that with those things there. Firecracker flower. Chance to uh, shoot a seed that inflicts enemies with a kaboom. 
a kabloom even. Kabloom enemies will burst into exploding petal tears after five seconds. That's very cool, but also sounds extremely dangerous. We're going to take it because we don't care about this run. We're going to go down. Okay, a lot of my friendlies have the uh, exploding things stuck on them. The explosions don't seem to hurt me, right? One second. Okay, so all of these guys have got them stuck in there. Let's, let's wait for them to explode and see if they damage me. They do not. Okay, good to know. I can barely fucking see. Man. Way to depress me, game. Giving me two holy cards back to back off the machine that I was just about to use. And then, the thing is, well, on the rewind, it didn't even upgrade that enemy into the same enemy. It just screwed me over that one time. Have fun exploding, y'all. I do like the fact that you can upgrade those enemies into enemies that you can actually kill. It's kind of funny. Okay. Oh, I did get hit there. But one holy card used. These underground bastards are a bit annoying. Right. Almost there. Yeah, there you go. Boss time. Can't believe how crazy this run is. Right. Three, two, one. Missed time for that, but oh. So oh well, we're fine. Easy. <laughs> My god, the amount of explosions going off right now is hilarious. Right, in here we go. I think it also had accidentally tethered one of my familiars there, one of my friends. Grants immunity to curse the blind, reveals blind pencil items. Once per room, spawn is not dice and use of reroll. It's actually pretty good, we'll take that. My god. So we can reroll that into Gemini. There you go. I'm trying my best to keep keep cool with all this lag about, but it's not always easy. Still a heart about somewhere around here. Oh my god. How am I keeping track of what's going on right now? I'm barely able. It's interesting the interaction with Mustard Seed and this item that upgrades enemies. I'm getting like, I'm upgrading an enemy and then Mustard Seeding them which gives me a downgraded version. So I'm getting the base version of the enemy by upgrading them and re-downgrading them which I think is pretty funny. Mirror Key. Once a room can create a mirror dimension door on the wall indicated by a door outline, mirror rooms regenerate all pickups, obstacles, and enemies, item pedestals not regenerated, allows refighting uh, the floor boss for an extra reward. Ooh. Intriguing. So I can come over here and open up a mirror room. So this is kind of like a a sort of alternate red key. I think I like it. 
So it should create a mirror version of this room, right? If I if I understand it correctly. Yeah. That's a really, really, really cool idea for an item. I'm glad I stuck with this run just to see that. And get extra rewards for it. And then how do we leave? And then... And then how do we leave? And then how do I leave? <laughs> um, there seems to be a slight flaw. <laughs> Can he get out? It's a really cool idea, but I'm... I'm stuck. I'm pretty stuck. Anyways, we know we're gonna win this. Let's, let's, let's let this run perish as it should have done. I hope you guys did enjoy that one. That was fun. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.